Welcome all. This is the final part of SNMP uh, blocks and uh, we cannot conclude SNMP without SNMP trap. So in this um, uh, video we are going to explore SNMP trap on router and on PRTG uh, sens uh, sensors. At the same time we'll see how we can send customized uh, SNMP traps using event management event manager on Cisco routers. This is how our SNMP uh, trap testbed look like. So again, uh, in this uh, picture, we have routers and switches and SNMP as a SNMP trap receiver, PRTG as SNMP trap receiver. In this video, I'm showing UDP uh, director as well, just to establish that UDP director is capable of receiving syslog and SNMP traps and then uh, forward this uh, to any respective collectors. So it's a UDP director is very minimal here. SNMP trap. SNMP traps are alert messages which are sent to SNMP collector uh, as a, in uh, the alert messages sent in real time. So instead of waiting for polling period, traps alerts are sent whenever the event is event happens. And again, since SNMP is UDP based, that means that these trap doesn't guarantee the delivery so a new form of traps introduced which is called inform and inform expect acknowledgement from collect, uh, collectors so that it, it bring in the reliability factor enabling snmp trap is a pretty straightforward uh, thing uh, so these are the commands and use snmp trap source loopback zero snmp server enable traps and snmp server host where you want to send the traps version and your community. So we'll see how to configure this in router. This is my router and let's check what I have for SNMP right now. So I have SNMP uh, server community configured, uh, but uh, we don't have anything uh, for traps. So let's go ahead and configure. Again, you can see I'm sending my traps to a UDP port 4055 because this is what I have configured on my PRTG SNMP uh, collector. Uh, by default, uh, traps are sent to port number UDP port 162, but my collector, it listen on UDP port 4055. So that, that's why I changed the port here. All right, go ahead and place the configuration. As soon as you say SNMP, enable traps, a variety of SNMP traps based on the iOS version uh, get enabled. So we can verify that using show run SNMP. So you can see that these are the traps enabled and gets enabled automatically. All right. We have configured the traps on router itself. Let's take a look at what we have on UDP director. You can see that I have a forwarding rule, all SNMP trap, which is listening at UDP port 4055, sending it to my PRTG 61.15 on destination port 4055. And now let's go ahead and configure the PRTG sensor itself. It's taking a little bit of time to load. But you can see that uh, this I have on the root level, I have a local probe and these are the sensors configured. I would like to go ahead and add a sensor. I'll say SNMP search for SNMP traps. Okay, SNMP trap receiver, click on plus sign. Preparing sensor setting, this is very important sensor so I'm going to increase the priority SNMP trap receiver name looks good by default you can see it's listen on port number 162 I'm going to go ahead and change this to 4055 purge message after 32 days so it can retain uh, messages and logs till 32 days uh, these are my filters so you can go over the uh, these settings you can filter the SNMP data based on these filters i'm not i don't want to use any filters so i'll say include include any and that's it say create
So once you create the sensor, it's going to take a little bit of time. It is gray initially and after some time it will go green. So it takes a bit of time to go live. While our sensor is uh, being activated, let's go ahead to the uh, win, uh, machine. Uh, this is the Windows machine which I shown you in my diagram and I have a program called SNMP trap gen which is going to emulate some SNMP uh, traps. So let's generate some traps. I'm going to generate a OID which is system of time. So generate a couple of traps, these traps a couple of times so that we can see that on PRTG. You can see sensor is activated. So let's see the messages, check for the messages. If we are getting those traps, you can see that I'm getting sys uptime from 192, 168, 32, 54. That was my Windows machine. So I'm receiving traps from my Windows machine. Uh, what, what about the traps coming from router? So the traps should come from router as we do some configuration. So I have a trap enabled for VLAN create and VLAN delete. I'm going to create some dummy VLAN and delete them a couple of times to generate the traps. They should generate some traps. So let's go and check. Okay, you can see. So my router 60.1, it is sending traps. So all this uh, VLAN create traps, uh, you, you cannot tell from the binding itself, but you can decode the OID uh, going to Cisco website and it will tell you what kind of trap it is. So this is how you can receive trap on, on uh, from router and from uh, uh, Windows machine or, or any Linux machine, any SNMP enable uh, system. And uh, next word we uh, will see what we can do with these binding messages uh, that we'll see in the next section with the event manager. Since we are receiving uh, traps from router, let's see how we can customize traps to send something custom or more human readable. We can do that using embedded event manager EEM. With the EEM version 3.0, it is now possible to send a customized trap uh, with their OID or variable binding. Uh, configuration is e very easy. We can, uh, we're going to use event manager applet. For this uh, video, I'm going to make a, a applet called BGP change, which is actually tracking BGP adjacency. So every time a BGP uh, adjacency go down, it actually create an action 1.0, send a string called check BGP adjacency now. And I'll, I'll show you what we can do with this string in PRTG. So let's go ahead and configure this on our router. It's configured. The router is now sending a custom uh, SNMP traps. Let's go ahead and uh, configure our trap receiver to uh, read that, those trap messages. So I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just edit the settings for this trap. We can go to error filter and I'm going to say bindings because bindings is what we get as a trap and check BGP. This is the custom trap alert we are getting. So I'm I'm putting that binding in error filter so that every time we get this string, the sensor we go uh, sensor will go into error state. Uh, that means it goes into red state, uh, which is a visual indication for anybody who is monitoring the system that BGP adjacency has gone down and they need to take care of that. All right, let's do scan now and I'm going to go to the router and flap the BGP adjacency. All 
Okay, so let's check our BGP adjacency first, and then I'm going to do a hard clear, which is clear IP BGP and S way. That means clear all the adjacencies. So it's now going to create the adjacency, and if I have terminal monitor on, I can see the logs, the log what I'm supposed to see here. But let's see what happened here. So go ahead and scan now. You don't have to do that. It will do it in real time. So we can see we are receiving those BGP applet, BGP change, check BGP adjacency now. And in a moment, the notification should pop. Uh, so the default setting is 600 uh, millisecond. So it's going to wait a few minutes uh, as a, a certain duration before it pop up the notification. And if you go to notification tab, uh, tab you can actually configure the rules. Uh, so every time a sensor go down, it can send you the email messages for that. Okay, let me go ahead and check the settings if our binding has got accepted properly. Check your spellings, check BGP RJ Sensi. Yes, so it took a bit of time uh, based on the predefined timers. Now you can see SNMP trap receiver go red and uh, as my adjacency is up now, so in next polling cycle, this will go green automatically based on the fault is gone. Otherwise, what you can do, you can actually go ahead and acknowledge the trap uh, alarm. So, I accept something. And then this alarm will go green. So, this is a good visual indication. Uh, a knock engineer can see that something important happened and uh, he should check uh, the qu uh, quick BGP sessions or any string human readable uh, error message what, what we are supplying with our SNMP trap. Very useful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Our, uh, as you acknowledge the alarm, SNMP trap receiver is uh, again working and it's green now. Thank you.